Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the long-awaited reboot of the Sportsman Media Podcast and channel. We got a nice, lovely matchup tonight between the Angels and the Boston Red Sox. Game time here is coming up in about 15 minutes. We're live now with the pregame show as we get ready to rock and roll tonight. The Halos looking to bounce back from their loss last night, eight to six. <clears throat> a lot of a uh, lot of slugfest last night. Halos gave up a lot of home runs. Halos hit a lot of home runs. Um, Halos, to be honest, if the Red Sox didn't make so many errors, probably wouldn't have been even close into that game. Would have been a lot worse than it looked. Um, but Red Sox made quite a bit of uh, errors last night to keep the Angels in it. Um, going back and forth in the late innings until the Red Sox finally pulled away with two home runs late in the eighth and the ninth. So Red Sox took that one eight to six. Halo's looking to bounce back today with Reed Detmers on the mound. Had a great outing his first time out in Baltimore, helping right the ship after the Halos got their ass beat by Baltimore um, in the first two games of the season. Detmers came out, throwing some shutout baseball, letting the Angels get their first win in line to winning four in a row until last night's loss. Angels are now sitting currently four and three in the West, while the Red Sox are coming in at six and two in the AL East. So it should be a good matchup with Reed Detmers on the mound against uh, Whitman for the Red Sox. Let's take a quick look around the league real quick and see how the scores are going. The top of the ninth for the White Sox and the Royals. Royals are leading that three to nothing. Bottom of the eighth, Seattle and the Brewers. Seattle's up four to three, but the Brewers are threatening with two on and two out in the bottom of the eighth. Top of the seventh score I like to see is the Rangers beating up on the Astros. I like to see the Astros off to their slow two and six start. Die Astros die is what I say. Hopefully the Astros will continue their losing streak. The Rangers up three to two, top of the seventh there. D-backs and the Braves, top of the seventh. D-backs are up eight to five over the Braves. Braves got some bad news today with uh, their ace Spencer Strider out with a UCL ligament damage. Potentially out for the whole season. That's a huge blow for the Braves there in the AL East. Or NL East. Excuse me. We got bottom of the six. Blue Jays, Yankees. Yankees coming back after losing their home opener yesterday. They're up top big. 8-2 to two over the Blue Jays at the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the fourth. Tampa Bay and the Rockies. Rockies are leading that one 2-1. to one, Bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the first game just starting here. Padres, Giants. Padres out to a huge lead in the first. 4 nothing over the Giants. In other games that finished earlier today, we've got the Athletics and the Tigers. Athletics came over the Tigers victorious today. 4 to nothing in a nice shutout over the Tigers. Improving to 2 to 7 on the season. The Sacramento A's that we can call them now. No longer the Oakland A's. The Sacramento A's. For the next three years until they move to Vegas. Guardians and the Twins. Guardians victorious over the Twins. 3-1 to one improved to 7-2. Guardians off to a hot start. Twins not so much. 3-4. and four. Marlins lose to the Cardinals. 3-1. to one. Marlins are winless to start the season. I think they're the only team that has not won a game. Um, very surprising. The Marlins have a good young group of guys. I, I wouldn't expect them to be 0 for um, with a, a record as bad as Rendon's to start the season. 0-9. Cardinals 5-4. Dodgers coming back after losing yesterday to the Cubs. Yamamoto getting his first major league win today. He's got an ERA now of 409 after that horrendous start of the season where he got blown out. Um, game line for him was... Let's see here. I get the stat line for today. Uh, oh, box score. Here we go. Clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, Yamamoto, five innings, three hits, no earned runs, two walks, and eight Ks. Uh, so Yamamoto coming around. Maybe he's not a bust after all, um, but still crazy they spent $300 million on him. 
before even having him throw his first pitch in the MLB. Mr. Drew, good to see you. Our fellow Yankee fan in chat. Captain Zemp, good to see you as well. But Dodgers coming out getting there. A win today, 4-1 to over the Cubs. The final and extras there today, the Pirates take the Orioles 5-4. to Pirates improving to 7-2. and Captain Zem, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you. <laughs> Pirates off to a hot start, 7-2. and I saw a crazy statistic um, in the beginning of the season that Araldus Chapman... <laughs> it was a meme, but Araldus Chapman signed to the, to the Pittsburgh Pirates after being with the world champion Rangers... Um, that he is apparently a good luck charm for teams that have a long drought in winning the championship. He was with the Cubs when the Cubs broke their years-long record and won a World Series, with the Rangers when they won their World Series, and there was a meme going around that he's now going to do that for the Pirates. So, I don't know. Might be able to talk to uh, Otani's uh, bookie and uh, place your bets for the Pirates to win the World Series and uh, get those bets in early before the odds go down as the Pirates continue their hot streak. Beating the Red Hot Orioles 5-4. to five, or five to four. Phillies come on top of the Nationals today, 5-2. to two. Phillies improve to 4-4. Four and four. And then the Mets, losing to the Cincinnati Reds, 9-6. to six. So that's your uh, weekly roundup here for the games currently going on around the MLB that happened today as we get ready for game time still here in Anaheim. Got about 10 minutes or so till first pitch, scheduled at 6.35 today as the Halos look to bounce back and uh, get things going. Um, let's see here. Take a look at the current standings around the league. Red Sox tied with the New York Yankees for first currently, both 6-2. and two. Guardians, sole position by half a game over the Tigers in the Central. Rangers, one game up over the Halos after their loss last night. Halos were hanging in there until last night. Hoping to stay no more than one game back with the Rangers currently leading the Houston Astros. Astros down in the cellar right next to the Oakland A's. I like to see it. Braves are 4-2 and two, tied with the Phillies. New York Mets off to a slow start, 2-6, and six, so is Nationals. It's for Pirates off to a hot start over in the NL Central. Followed by the Brewers and the Cubs. And Dodgers, 2.5 up on the West now over the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Padres, Giants, and Rockies. Arizona, I think, has a chance to compete with the Dodgers this season. Um, they made some good signings. I think they have a chance to compete uh, for that AL West, or NL West with the Dodgers. Not going to be an easy feat. Dodgers buying the division just to get swept in the playoffs again. Can't wait for that. Dodgers most likely will be the NL West champs, but we'll be out sitting the first round again. <laughs> that's how the Dodgers do. But um, yeah, so first pitch coming up here shortly. Reed Detmers will be on the mound. Jaron Duran is set to lead off for the Boston Red Sox. We'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the starting lineups here today. We'll start with the Boston Red Sox starting lineup. Leading off is Duran for the Boston Red Sox playing left field. He comes in batting 394 on the season. Batting second and playing shortstop is Reyes. Reyes batting 231 on the season. Devers playing third base, batting third. O'Neill in right field, batting in the cleanup spot. He's hitting 409 with an OPS of 1.49 off to a hot start for the season. Down the back at DH. Casas at first base. Rafiala at center field, Wong behind the dish, and Valdez at second base. Whitlock will be on the mound. He's got a 1-8-0 ERA on the season so far. He's off to a hot start in his first start of the season.
For your Halos now, leading off the bum, Anthony Rendon. Had his first hit last night. Doesn't deserve to play the game of baseball. I'm a Halos fan, and I don't care what you say. I don't care what excuses they try to make for the man. Um, but it's clearly showing why baseball is not his prop priority. He got his bag. He got paid. It's a job. And uh, just doesn't care anymore. Uh, I think the Angels just need to release him. I think he's going to keep us from the playoffs. People are saying uh, only a good Rendon makes us in the playoffs. I think uh, Rendon keeps us from the playoffs. Release him, cut him, eat the salary, get rid of him, whatever you got to do. The bum, Anthony Rendon, playing third and leading off. Uh, Shannon Wall at first base. He's batting second. Um, controversy around the league going right now. His on-base streak to begin his career was cut short at 30 games. It was at 36 as of yesterday. MLB went back six days and took away his hit in Baltimore and now made his record uh, streak stop at 30 games. It was the third longest in MLB history to start a career. Um, don't know why they went back and changed it six days later. Apparently, the, peti the pitcher petitioned for it, from what I'm hearing, which I didn't even know you could do that. Um, but really a shitty thing for MLB to do. It was clearly a hit. The guy dove, had to throw from his knees. He beat it out because the throw was a little bit off, but he threw from his knees. It's, it's a hit all day long. Uh, but email, MLB just taking away that guy's record. Should be at 36 games starting tonight. But his streak will sadly end at 30. Batting third, center fielder Mike Trout comes in batting 259. He had a huge homer in the Miami series. Had a couple big opportunities last night, but came up short. He's in the three hole. He's playing center field. Taylor Ward in left field, batting 300. Aaron Hicks at DH. He comes in batting 167 on the season. Logan O'Hoppy behind the dish. He's red hot, batting 450 with OPS of 1.292. Luis Renjifo. Also on a good start of the season. He's becoming in batting 300. Mickey Moniak looking for his first hit of the season. He's in right field. And the shortstop, the young up-and-coming star, Zach Neto, is at shortstop, batting 200. He's looking to get things going here today as well. Now, let's talk about the Halos and how they've been doing. Uh, what happened, Drew? So, Sh uh, Shannon L had, starting from last season, um... He had reached base in every game of his career so far. Um, he was at 30. Uh, he's at 36 as of last night. But apparently today, MLB went back, I guess, someone petitioned for MLB to go relook at a hit that was, you know, it was ruled a hit in Baltimore. The Baltimore scoring people are the ones that ruled it a hit. MLB came back and said it was no longer a hit. So that ended his on-base streak because that was the only time he got on base that game. So instead of being at 36 games and still having a chance to keep going, it's now ended at 30 games, which is the third longest in MLB history. He was going for the record. I don't remember what the the full record was, but I know he was definitely on his way to potentially getting the all-time record. So don't know why MLB would reverse it. It's clearly a hit when you're diving and you have to throw from your knees to try and get the runner at first and the throws off a little bit. That's never called an error. It's a base hit all day long. Don't know why they reversed it. So that's kind of the big controversy going around right now. Everyone was watching this kid, seeing what he had, seeing what was going on. Um, yeah, I don't know. doesn't make any sense to me if you guys go back and watch that replay. Um, it clearly looks like a hit to me. But MLB made the ruling. So unfortunately, his streak stopped at 30 games. Um but he's definitely been getting on base for us this season, uh, which is why he's batting the two-hole. Yeah, he's only got 100 average, but he's getting on base via the walk or a hit. Um, don't know why Rendon's leading off. You know, Ron Washington, I love Ron Washington. Keeps saying that Rendon gets on base. I haven't seen it yet because he's not even getting walks. He's barely getting on base. How much longer are we leaving this bum at the leadoff spot when you got players like Renjifo, or Ohapi that are just killing it. Why are they at the bottom of the why are we at the bottom of the order with these guys and not at the top? Um, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. I say we get him out of the leadoff spot. Put Ohapi up there, put Aaron Hicks up there even, Renhifo, someone other than Rendon. Put Rendon in the eight eight hole. Um or really put him in the parking lot where he belongs. 
But um, Angels off to a better start than predicted. Everything was looking really bad, though, the first two games of Baltimore when they really <laughs> got beat. Um, but they turned things around, looked good in Miami. They looked good last night besides the pitching. Uh, the hitters looked good. They made the most of what they had. Um, they they stayed in it. They didn't give up. But the pitchers gave up home run after home run. The key to tonight's game, for me, is going to be keeping the ball in the yard. Detmer's got to stay in his game, get some ground ball outs, keep that ball in the yard. The bullpen needs to stay keeping that ball in the yard. Walks and the long ball are what killed the Angels yesterday. So hopefully with Indit. Reed Detmer's on the mound today. That does not happen. So with that, we are now about any minute now away from game time. We shall return here momentarily with first pitch coming up in a few minutes.
All righty. Reed Detmer is taking his warm-up pitches on the mound here as we get ready to start the game here. Angels versus the Red Sox. Halo's looking to start another win streak here tonight to get back on top of the West. Lean off the inning. Here we got Jaron Duran, Pablo Reyes, and Rafael Devers for the Boston Red Sox. One, two, and three coming up. Trout's okay, but I prefer salmon. <laughs> <clears throat> Trout's about the only uh, fish I like. <laughs> In the field for the Halos, you got Hoppy behind the plate, Rendon at third, Neto at short, Ranjifo at second, Shadow at first, Ward in left, Trout in center, and Mon Moniak in right field. <clears throat> Detmer is taking the mound now, ready for the first pitch as the batter steps in and gets ready for the first pitch of the ball game. A uh, beautiful, beautiful, clear weather. A little light breeze out here in Anaheim today. Duran is set. Detmer's the first pitch. He takes a fastball on the outside corner for strike number one. Painting the black. That's a good spot from Detmer's right there. Keep it there all day long when we stand a chance. Hello from Argentina, Juan. Good to see you. The 0 1 pitch from Detmers. That takes a fastball upstairs. 1 1. Fastball got away from Detmers there a little bit, missing high and away. A 1 1 pitch from Detmers. That's a fastball. 95 on the inside corner. That's fouled out and out of play for strike number two. Detmer gets his pitch. Comes set. The one-two pitch. That's a breaking ball down and away. Detmers takes that one easy for a ball. It's two and two. Pitch clock winds down and the two-two pitch from Detmers. Change up swung and missed in the dirt, and we have out number one. Nice changeup from Detmers. Gets him swinging and chasing that one in the dirt. Ohapi applies the tag on the drop third strike. And it's a quick hit out number one for the Halos. Reyes steps in now. And he's ready for the first pitch. He shows bunt but takes a breaking ball down the middle for a strike. 0-1. Ray's batting 231 with three RBIs on the season. Detmers comes sets the 0 1 pitch. Change up on the outside corner. That's swung through and missed. Quickly behind the count. 0 2 is Reyes. Detmers looking for his second punch out of the inning. Correction, a little split finger from Detmers. Detmers, the 0-2 pitch. Fastball swung and fell, tipped into the catcher's glove on a high fastball. Out number two. Two quick outs for Detmers as he's rolling here on the first. Detmers starting the game showing he's got ace material here on the mound. Denver's is in now on the first pitch. Big breaking ball at 78 on the outside corner. Gets him. 0-1. Oh 
Demers comes in, batting 201 home run, two RBIs. The 0 1 pitch from Reed is a fastball up and in, swung on and fouled straight back. Quickly ahead again, 0 and 2. Detmer is using his fastball here at a 60.2% rate on the season with a 54% whiff rate. Great numbers from Detmer. 0 2 pitch, big breaking ball, stays up and just misses the top of the zone, taken for a ball, 1 and 2. Batter calls time, not ready for the pitch, steps out. I say if I'm Detmers here, I go with a split finger down and away, see if I get him to chase after that high breaking ball. We'll see what he does. Here comes the one-two pitch. Got him with the split, barely got a piece of it, fouls it off his foot. He did go with the split on that one. Cow remains one and two, though. Still a lot of Anthony Reno and City Connect jerseys in stock. Get them while they're at before they're all gone. Light them all on fire, double down. Light them all on fire. That bum. It was up to me, Rendon wouldn't be playing baseball. The one two pitch again from Detmers. High fastball, got him swinging. And that's out number three, ends the inning. Strikes out the side for Reed Detmers. We head to the bottom of the first. It's nothing, nothing. Halos are coming up next when we return. Guess who's coming up? Mike Jones, your man, Anthony the Bum Rendon. Now lean off for the Halos. Third baseman Anthony Rendon steps into the box. Whitlock is ready. Cameraman racing behind. And Rendon takes a fastball in the inside corner for a strike. 0 1. Whitlock was 5 5 last season with a 5.15 ERA. Fast one side corner. That's flared to right, and Rendon the bum has his second hit of the season with a leadoff hit for the Halos. Rendon with his second base hit leads off the game with a single flare to right field. That's going to bring up Nolan Shawanow for the Halos, who was robbed of his on base streak earlier today from, by the MLB. First pitch, breaking ball inside, taken for a ball, 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. That's a bad... Radon is stealing second, and he's gunned down. What a bum. Why are we stealing second? Angels are going to possibly take a look at this, see if Rendon made it in. Oh, that is close. 
That is close. Oh. Yep. I think he's safe because he's bobbling in his glove. He doesn't have control of it. But they don't challenge it. Now breaking balls. Weak on the first base side. First baseman has it. And tosses to the pitcher. And we have two outs. So what started as a promising start to the inning is quickly now two outs with Rendon. I live near Angel Stadium, double down. I went to the game last night. I live about 30, 40 minutes away. Now stepping in, though, is going to be Mike Trout. He takes a fastball down the middle for a strike. 1-0. 0-1. Oh. Oh Good luck gets the sign. He's ready. Next pitch. Breaking ball misses outside. Evens the count 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one one pitch to Trout. Another breaking ball misses way outside. Trout ahead now 2-1. Trout looking for a pitch on the inner half to drive. Two one pitch breaking ball low, but Trout chases and fouls it off. Evens the count at two and two. Yeah, why Rendon was trying to steal a base there, I have no idea. Rendon is not in the same category as the word fast, um, but he thought he was. He got, got excited, he got a hit, I guess. Didn't know what to do with himself. Next pitch misses way outside, not even close. Runs the count full three and two with two outs here to Mike Trout, bottom first. Halo's looking to get back on base. 3 2 pitch to Trout. That's a curveball fouled softly down the third base side. Would have been ball four, but Mike Trout chased it. Power remains 3 and 2. Three two is a ball down and low. Trout walks and gets back on base for the Halos. That's going to bring up now Taylor Ward, your left fielder, batting fourth here with two outs and one on. Ward's batting 300 in the season with three homers and eight RBIs. Fastball, 95 inside corner. That's flared down the right field side and out of reach down the line from the right fielder. 0 and 1. You know, if the Angel store, Team Store ships Jersey and moved out of Fullerton to another state, um, I think so. I think you can order on their website. I think you can order on Angel's website, if I'm not mistaken, from the Team Store and have it shipped wherever. The 0 1 pitch now to Ward. Breaking ball just catches the outside corner. Ward takes it for a strike, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Now, if I'd like to see anyone steal, it'd be Mike Trout on first base, not Anthony Rendon. The pitcher set, the 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball up and away, just barely misses, and it's 1-2. Trout said he's looking to be over 20 bases stolen this year, and he's got the green light from the manager. The one-two pitch to Ward. That's a changeup swung on and missed for the third out. And just like that, it's nothing, nothing after one. We head to the top of the second. Nothing, nothing score coming up. Nothing, nothing score here. 
Denver's will come back on the mound to face Tyler O'Neill, followed by Dalabak and Cassis. When the Angels return here. Yeah, see, I live about 30, 40 minutes away from the stadium. I wish I lived at the apartments that are right there on the parking lot, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> Yeah, I wish I lived right there on the, the edge of the parking lot, but I'd be going to games all the time. I'd just be buying those last-minute StubHub tickets for like five bucks, move on down to the empty seats. I'd never miss a game if I lived right there. Detmer's back on the mound as we get ready for the start of the bo top of the second. Looks like the TV crew already missed part of the inning. It's already a full count. Full count here on O'Neill. Green two pitches, fastball, high and away, fouls that away, fouls that away, stays alive, three and two. Got that pitch clock going now, and it's going, makes games go by too fast, I don't like it. Not a fan of the pitch clock, I don't know how you guys feel on the pitch clock, but I think it's one of the worst things baseball ever did to itself. Breaking ball, high and away, misses, and that's going to be a leadoff walk for the Red Sox. That's going to bring up Bobby Dalbeck. Takes a breaking ball inside for ball one. Next pitch is fastball inside corner, fouled back. One on one. A 1 1 pitch. Fastball up and in, swung through and missed. Strike two. Let me just say it's the most accessible ballpark from the parking lot. I'm going to miss going there. Yeah, no, it's, it's a great stadium. It definitely needs to be uh, renovated and upgraded, though. Hey, the pitch clock and ghost runner. Yeah, I can't stand those at all. Denver's ready. The clock winds down the 1 2 pitch. Oh, yes. Delayed call by the umpire, but got him looking on a changeup on the inside corner. 
and that's out number one. The fourth strikeout of the game so far for Detmers. Got him looking on that split finger on the inside corner. Delayed call by the ump, but he rings him up. Stepping in now is Tristan Cassis. First pitch on him is a fastball up and in. Swung through and missed. Out number one. Or strike number one. Did I say out number one? <laughs> Getting ahead of myself there. He's around 233 on the season with a home run and three RBIs for the Red Sox. Their number six hitter. Fish clock winds down. Detmers gets the electronic sign from the catcher, which I can't stand either. This whole pitch, pitch thing. The 0 1 pitch. Another fastball up and in. Swung through and missed. Kind of made him look silly on that one. And it's 0 2. Reed set. Takes a look at the runner. The 0 2 pitch. That's a split finger in the dirt. Blocked well by Ohapi. Keeps the runner at first. It's 1 and 2. Try to get him to chase on one in the dirt, that one. Good stop by a hoppy, though. Saves the runner from moving to second. Edmer shakes off the first one. Shakes off the second one. Likes the third one. Comes set. Checks the runner at first. The one-two pitch. That's a breaking ball. Misses down and away. Evens the count. Two and two. A 2-2 pitch from Detmers. Fastball misses just outside. Runs the count full 3-2. and two. We'll see if the Red Sox decide to put the runner in motion here with one out and three run the count full. Left-handed here at the plate makes it a little bit harder for the catcher to throw down to second. A 3-2 pitch. Fastball inside hammer down the right field line, but foul. Remains 3-2. and two. Coming off his hot start last time, Detmers with seven strikeouts. Already has four here early tonight. 3-2 pitch. He pitched it, picks over at first, keeping the runner honest. Runner's back standing easy. Detmers thing along the lines of us thinking that the runner might be in motion here with a full count. Get some action going. I would send the runner. A 3-2 pitch. Breaking ball swung and missed in the dirt. Got him chasing, and that's out number one. Or out number two. Nasty breaking ball. Big 3 2 curveball. Got him chasing it. That pitch right there showing Detmers is trusting his stuff today. The gutsy pitch there on 3 2 with already a runner on. Runner still in first now with two outs. And in steps the batter, Rafaela. He's batting 200 with only three RBIs on the season. Took the first pitch for a ball. The 1-0 pitch now from Demers. Fastball way upstairs for a ball, 2-0. The 2-0 pitch. Detmer's ready. That's a fastball up and in. Fouled straight behind the plate. 2-1. and one. Yeah, I know the pitch clock, man. I don't like it. I don't like this whole electronic pitch calling thing either. I don't think they should be using that. Stick, stick to the good old-fashioned, you know, pitch calling. If you can steal the sign, you can steal the sign. If not, you're not. I mean, the 2-1 pitch. High fastball again. Fouls that one straight back. Evens the count two and two. A 
Denmark having to battle a little bit harder here in the second inning after striking out the side in the first. Checks on the runner at first. The 2-2 pitch from Detmers. Just in time of the pitch clock. That's a breaking ball inside. Fouled up by the first base side. Now almost racing to the dugout and just can't make the play. The ball's just out of reach. Hits the net. And the count remains 2-2. Two two. Nolan tried to get there, but just out of his reach. Demers looks in, gets the sign from Ohapi. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, the pitch. Breaking ball, got him looking for strike number three. And that will end the inning here, leaving the runner on first. A nasty breaking ball from Detmers gets the final out. As we head to the bottom of the second, it's still nothing, nothing. Red Sox strand a runner when we come back. The Halos come to lead it off. Through one inning, Red Sox are without a hit. Halos with one hit. Both leave a runner on with a leadoff walk in the top of the second for the Red Sox, but they strand him as Detmer works out of the inning. Detmer's really has that strikeout pitch working today. When the Halos return, though, we have Aaron Hicks leading off for the Halos, followed by Logan Ahapi and Loris Ranjifo. Aaron Hicks steps in now, and he's quickly behind in the count, 0-1. 0-1 pitch, breaking ball, almost hits him in the feet, 1-1. They'd really be returning these games from the commercials with uh, no delay between commercial to pitch. I think there was just a time clock violation, but I can't tell. Next pitch is down low. That's fouled off for a strike. One and two. Aaron Hicks betting 167 on the season, looking to get the Halo started here in the bottom of the second. The 1 2 pitch from Litlock. Breaking ball misses down and in. Good take there, and it's 2 and 2. Hicks is ready, the 2 2 pitch. That's a breaking ball inside, but he fouls that one off and into the first base dugout. Stays alive, 2 and 2. Breaking ball in the dirt, taken for a ball. Runs the count full now, three and two. Aaron Hicks looking to get on base any way he can. A walk is as good as a hit. 
Breaking ball he thought was ball four, but that does catch just the inside corner, and it's strike three. Barely nipped the corner. And the healers are down one. That'll bring up. That'll bring up Luis Ranjifo now. Or sorry, Logan O'Hoppy for the Halos, and he's up 1 0. Second pitch is misses. It's a ball 2 and 0. Oh. Three zero now to Ohapi. A three zero pitch. That missed, but was called a strike anyways, and it's three and one. That pitch was definitely not in the strike zone. Should have been ball four. Three on pitch. That's lined to shortstop. Knocks it down, but he can't handle it. And that's going to be probably an infield single for Ohapi. We'll see how they rule it. There's a line drive, one hop to shortstop. He knocks it down as he spins. But that was a tough play. That's going to bring up Ranjifo now. First pitch, Ranjifo is a fastball up, checks his swing, but he went around. And that's strike number one. Hoffy takes his lead at first. The pitcher set the 0-1 pitch. Breaking ball up in the zone. Ranjifo fouls it straight back. 0-2. Comes in batting 300 on the season. No homers, no RBIs. Looking to get it going, though, here for the Halos in the bottom of the second. With one on and one out. The 0-2 pitch. Another breaking ball right down the middle, but he fouls that one back again. Still 0-2. Next pitch, breaking ball. That's lined in the right field, but right at the right fielder. Makes a couple steps to his left. And that's out number two. One on, two outs now, and that's going to bring up the Halos number nine bat or number eight batter, Mickey Moniak. First pitch, breaking ball misses way low. One and oh. Mickey Monet comes in 0 for 8 for the season. At a 280 last year. 1 0 pitch to Moniac. That misses way upstairs for a ball 2 0. Whitlock is set and ready. The 2 0 pitch. That almost nailed him. Misses inside, and it's 3 0 on deck is the shortstop, Zach Neto. Miss Otani? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sucks. He didn't stay, but... 3-0 pitch. That's a off-speed pitch taken in there for a strike. 3-1. Sucks he didn't stay. It's crazy they paid $700 million for a guy that's injured, but... I mean, I don't... I, Money-wise, it didn't make sense for the Halos to really make that call. Off-speed pitch... Chopped on the first base side. Foul. Runs the count three and two. That'll get the runner in motion here. Base hit in the gap could score a run. Yeah, the Halos are already stuck in money situation as is. They just they, they really couldn't afford to do that. It signed four other players for that money. 
Ospie pitch, Mitch is inside, ball four, and that's going to put runners on first and second now. With two away. That'll bring up the Angels, number nine batter, Zach Neto, with two on and two out. Two walks in the inning have the Angels threatening here in the bottom of the second. Base hit will score a run. Zach Neto is ready. Whitlock comes set and the first pitch. Breaking ball outside but swung through and missed. And it's 0-1. Whitlock got Neto to chase that slider out of the zone and he gets ahead of the count. The 0-1 pitch to Neto. Another slider probably caught the outside corner but swung through and missed. And he's behind quick 0-2. Neto looking to battle here, keep the inning alive. We need anything but a strikeout here. Anyone should be leading off beside Rendon, double down. Uh, but Neto says he likes the number nine spot. He, I think he kind of chose the number nine spot. He likes turning the table over. The 0-2 pitch to Neto. Breaking ball down and low. Takes that one this time for a ball, one and two. Then chase that one. Oh yeah, no, I heard I read an interview that uh, Neto actually likes the nine hole and actually kind of chose the nine spot. One two pitch, breaking ball, taps at the shortstop. He backs up, gets it, throws over to second, and just gets the runner at second for the third out. Halos leave two on base, but no score here after the bottom of the second. We head to the top of the third. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Halos versus Boston. Boston's coming up next when we return. Connor Wong will lead it off for the Red Sox here in the top of the third. Still nothing, nothing. Halos left two more on base. Detmer's coming out. Going to look for another 1-2-3 inning here in the top of the third. First pitch to Wong. That's lined in the left center field for a base hit. Wong is turning the corner for second, though, and he's going to get in there with a double. Ward kind of came over lackadaisical on that line drive, and Wong sneaks in a leadoff double. That's going to be the first hit for the Red Sox here today. Ring Valdez, he swings and misses out a breaking ball, 0 and 1.
The number nine batter for the Red Sox here. Comes up with a runner on second. Nobody out. It's 0-1. That's a breaking ball. Weakly fouled behind the plate. Took a weak hack at that one. Was fooled on that breaking ball. And it's 0-2. What's up, Carwin? Detmer looks in for the pitch. Checks on the runner at second. The next pitch is 0-2. Fastball upstairs almost takes the helmet off of uh, Valdez there as his helmet flies off as he leans out of the way of that one. Talking about giving the batter a haircut. Give him the highest stinky cheese. One and two. One two pitch now. Breaking ball. Weak ground ball to first. Shamanal is going to take that one himself at first, but the runner is going to advance to third. And there's one away. That's going to bring up the. Leadoff hitter for the Red Sox with a runner on third and one out. That curveball to that hitter was down and away, but he still got a hold of it. Enough to advance the runner to third with one out. Detmer's ready to pitch. Breaking ball again, chased and weakly fouled off. Detmer's has the Red Sox hitting on their heels here today. Holding with a mixture of his fastball and breaking balls. Red Sox hitters seem completely off balance at the plate. No one pitch. Another breaking ball. That's another weak foul ball to first. And he's quickly ahead of the count now. 0-2. Detmer's looking for a punch out here to keep that runner at third. Infield's in for the Halos to try and prevent the run. A fly ball here, though, would score a run or a base hit. Batter's ready. Detmer comes set. The 0-2 pitch. That's a breaking ball. Flared into left field, and that's going to drop in front of Ward for a base hit and score a run. That's an RBI single for Duran, and the Red Sox have taken an early 1-0 lead here in the third. That was a good pitch by Detmer's though, as that was down and out of the strike zone, but he got just enough of it to flare it to the outfield and put the Red Sox on top. one nothing. Well, hopping the pitching coach, paying Detmer's a visit on the mound here just to let him know, hey, it's just one run. You got to get out of this inning with a quick double play here. Ground ball gets you out of the inning and back in the dugout. Angels needing to uh, limit... Limit the damage here in the third. Uh, Matt Wise, yeah, me too, man. I, I never liked Matt Wise as a pitching coach at all. I was never a fan. The of the Mines at the mound is over, and the first pitch coming up here to Reyes. The runner leaves. He picks him off. He throws him at second, and they got him. Detmers with a quick pick over to first. Caught the runner stealing. And there's a quick out number two now. Heads up play by Detmers as the runner was moving on the first, pit, first movement on the lefty. And they're able to hose him at second. First pitch now on Reyes. That's a curveball in there for a ball. One and O. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, I'd get in big trouble, Carwin, if I was streaming it. Um, there is a way I can get it on Discord. I used to be able to get it on Discord, but Discord has been tricky lately. Next pitch is high and up and away for ball two. Two and O. Oh.
Next pitch is a fastball up in it away, but he fouls that one off. Two and one. Actually, there you go. Discord's actually capturing it. If you want to join Discord, you can join the Discord. Um, I'll get an invite in chat here. Fastball up and away. Checks his swing, and that's ball three, three and one. There you go. If you guys join Discord, you can watch what I'm watching. Fastball inside at 94. The 3-1 pitch is swung and miss. Full count. Runner at first will be on the move now. Or sorry, there is no runner at first now. Yes, join the Discord. Three two pitch fastball inside corner called a strike three. Might have been a little bit inside, but the ump's been calling that all game, and that's out number three. We head to the bottom of the third now. Red Sox on top, one nothing. So yes, join our sports Discord there, Carwin, or anyone in chat if you guys want to join the Discord. I am streaming the game in Discord, and you can watch via Discord. I just can't not show it on YouTube. Technically, now you're really supposed to show it on Discord, but... <clears throat> I can get away with it on Discord. You should see a channel called In Live In Live Game on the Discord. You should be able to click on there, uh, Carwin, and you can watch. Turn here, Anthony Rendon stepping in at the plate. Takes a first pitch strike, 0-1. Second pitch, breaking ball, misses away, 1-1. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses outside, but called a strike anyways, 1-2. and two. Rendon had a good eye on that one, but... Um, called it a strike. Breaking ball down and in. Fouls that one off, fighting to stay alive into the Angels' dugout, and the count remains one and two. You like the you like the touch on the booze? <laughs> I thought it was. I thought I li I liked it. One two pitch. Breaking ball in the outside corner. Fouls that one away down the first base side. Still staying alive. One and two. Breaking ball, nowhere close in the dirt. Evens the count now at two and two. Breaking ball, misses over the heart of the plate, but he fouls that one away softly again. Still two and two.
The 2-2 pitch to Rendon. Breaking ball misses way outside in the dirt and runs the count full. Three and two. Rendon averaging 28 home runs, 106 RBIs, 43 doubles, and 95 runs in the last three seasons. A 3-2 pitch. That's a fastball down the middle, but Rendon's late on it. I don't know what he's looking for, 3-2, and two, but it should have been a fastball. Rendon was waiting for another breaking ball. The pitcher's ready. We'll do the full count pitch again. Takes a fastball right down the heart of the plate for a called strike three. You bum. Go home, bum. I don't know what you're shaking your head up for. That was right down the cock. Ridiculous. I don't know how you take that pitch. That is the pitch you're looking for on a full count pitch. It's a fastball right down the middle. If you're not looking for that pitch, I don't know what you're doing with your life. But it shouldn't be playing baseball. That's going to bring up Mickey Moniak now for the Halos. Or, sorry, Nolan Shalinow for the Halos. Takes the first pitch. Ball 1-0. I don't know what Rendon's doing. Next pitch is a cutter on the inside corner. Taken for a strike. 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one one pitch. Breaking ball taken upstairs. Call the ball. Looks like it nipped the inside corner, but Ump doesn't give him the call. It's 2-1. The 2-1 pitch now. Breaking ball misses down and in. Runs a count. 3-1. Whitlock struggling with command today. Missing a lot of pitches to the uh, his outer half of the plate. 3-1 pitch. Ooh, Nolan took a hack on that one. That was a breaking ball up and in. He's swinging for the fences. Evens the count. Two and two, uh, or full count now. For the Angels' number two first baseman. Nolan Chauvin now taking this little minute to regroup after that swing. Swung under his shoes. And the 3-2 pitch. Fastball hammered, but diving. Save by the first baseman. And it's out number two. What a play by the Red Sox first baseman. Diving to save a hit. Off the bat looked like a for sure line drive hit to right field. But number 38 makes a nice diving catch to save a hit. That's going to bring up Mike Trout now. He takes an off speed pitch in there for strike one. The 0-1 pitch to Trout. Breaking ball swung on and fouled off to the right. Trout quickly behind 0-2 now. Trout looking to get something going here. Trout swings through on a fastball and he's down on strikes. That will end the inning here in the bottom of the third. Halos don't get anyone on, and it's still 1-0 Boston. Top of the fourth coming up next here, Sportsman Media. Seth, what's going on? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. I don't like your confidence.
And we're back. First pitch on Denver's is swung in, miss. Strike one. O one pitch. That's a breaking ball. Flared into right center field. Trout's over to get it. Gets it back in quickly to hold. Devers at a single. And the Red Sox have their leadoff man on here to start the inning. In the top of the fourth. No, it's not any we said. <laughs> Breaking ball inside foul down the third base side, and it's 0 1 to O'Neill. That song was just in the playlist that I have playing for the background music. But we're not ending till the game ends. Devers checks the runner on first come set. The 0 1 pitch. Breaking ball in the dirt for a ball. Stopped nicely by Ohapi, and it's 1 1. Thank you, Visa. Sorry. Got a lot of controls here for this setup, and I'm still getting used to doing it. It's our first stream of the season with all of this new setup. One one pitch is a fastball upstairs, foul back, and it's one and two. Okay, everything you guys see going on here, it's all done by hand. <laughs> with pushes of buttons, nothing's automatic. One two pitch, breaking ball, barely got a piece of that one. That was way down and out of the strike zone. Got him to chase it, but he got a piece, stayed alive, one and two. What am I watching on? Uh, my computer. On MLB, MLB uh, TV. Next pitch is a changeup. Looked like it got the inside corner. Demers can't believe it. It's called a ball two and two. That should have been called strike three on that changeup. Well, the ump's been all over the place with the strike zone today. I don't know how you guys feel about this. Two two pitch to the breaking ball. Called a strike on the upper part of the zone. I think that was a makeup call on that one because that one was more of a ball than the one he called a ball the pitch before. And there's two away. Or one away. So it did touch the top of the zone, but that one was more likely to be called a ball than the other pitch. We'll talk about some conspiracy theories in between innings here. First pitch on the next batter. Bobby Dalbeck is swung through and missed 0-1. Oh, one pitch. That's a changeup. Swung through and missed. Oh, and two now. Detmer's really dealing here tonight so far. Yo, two pitch. That's a changeup. Misses outside. Taken for a ball. One and two. Dalbeck's ready. Reed checks the runner at first. A 1-2 pitch. That's a change up down the middle. A weak ground ball to shortstop. Neto's racing in. Fires over to first. His only option as the runner at second advances. Or the runner at first advances a second. But now there's two outs. Good play, good play by Zach rushing in there for that slow ground ball. 
His only choice is but the runner at first. Makes a nice throw on the run. Halo's now one out away from getting out of a jam here in the fourth. It's going to bring up the number six header, Tristan Casas. First pitch to him is a breaking ball. Inside corner foul down the first base side. 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch from Detmers. It's a high fastball swung and fouled back. 0 and 2. Detmer's looking for the punch out here to get out of the fourth. Shakes off the first pitch. Likes the second one. The 0-2 pitch now from Detmer's. Checks the runner at second. Swung on, missed on a breaking ball on the inside part of the plane. Another strikeout for Detmer's in the inning. And just like that, we're headed to the bottom of the fourth. Still one nothing Boston when we return here in the bottom of the inning. All right, so let's talk conspiracy theories. Is anyone else's thinking, because you know Major League Baseball's been pushing hard to eventually get to like robotic umpires. Anyone else believe that they've ordered their umpires to not be very good this year on purpose? I've been seeing some like alarming uptick in some weird calls in the MLB and it's almost as like they're trying to be bad to push the agenda of robot umpires. Which again, I think would be horrible for the sport. The human element is what makes baseball so good. You never know, you're gonna get some calls, you're not gonna get some calls. It's all part of the baseball game, in my opinion. Like, baseball's not a game to be perfect. I don't know if anyone else shares that, but for me, baseball is just not a game that's meant to be perfect. Umpires, not empires, umpires. So the people that are calling the balls and strikes, we said, the guy behind the catcher. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, if you see like on the screen where it shows if it's a strike or not, where it shows where the ball crossed the plate, they want to start using that to call the game instead of the guy behind the plate. Ward steps in now, takes a first pitch outside for a ball 1-0. Ward looking to get the Angels going here in the fourth, get that run back. 1-0 pitch to Ward as a breaking ball misses up and in as Ward tries to get out of the way of that one. 2-0. The 2-0 pitch is a fastball way outside. 3-0. Ward way ahead now. Let's see if Ward gets the green line here. 3-0 or if he's taken all the way. 3-0 pitch. Looked like he had the green light, but wisely lays off that one. It's low and way at the knees for a called strike, 3-1. and one. Not the pitch you're looking for, 3-0. and 3-1 oh. pitch. Fastball right down the middle at the knees. He's early on that, fouls it down the third base side, runs the count full, 3-2. and two. Sorry. So many buttons for me to push. <laughs> Next pitch, three and two misses way upstairs. That's going to be a leadoff walk for the Halos here to start the inning. And that's going to bring up that's going to bring up Aaron Hicks now here for the Halos.
First pitch to Aaron Hicks is a fastball outside corner. Fouled away 0 and 1. A lot of walks tonight for the Boston pitcher as he's struggling with his command. Ospie pitch inside corner. Hicks fouls at sky high down the first baseline. Foul territory by the dugout. And Boston's first baseman makes the easy out. One away. And that's going to bring up Logan O'Hoppy now for the Halos. With one on and one out. Logan O'Hoppy looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for a strike. 0 and 1. One pitch so hoppy is fastball up and in barely gets out of the way of that one and it's one and one Whitlock is struggling with his command all over the place tonight he's nearly hit several angel batters in the bottom of the fourth he's already at the 71 pitch mark the one one pitch that's a high fly ball to right field back towards the wall and he makes the catch right in front of the wall and ward races back to first two away now Hoppy put a good charge into that one, but just comes up short. Now I'll bring up Luis Ranjifo at the plate for the Halos here with one on and two outs. Ranjifo takes an off-speed pitch up and away for a strike. 0-1. Renjifo looking to keep the inning alive for the Halos. The 0-1 pitch. That's a fastball up in the zone. Flared in the center field. And that's going to drop for a base hit. Ward rounds second, but thinks better of it. As the center field comes racing in with the ball. And that's a two-out knock for Renjifo. Puts runners at first and second now with two out. That'll bring up Mickey Moniak now, looking to get it going for the season. <clears throat> looking for his first hit of the season here. Could bring in a run. Two on, two out. The pitch. It's also a pitch fouled into the third, first base dugout. Old one. Angels really needing a hit here to even the score for the Red Sox. The 0 1 pitch. That's another soft ground ball to the first base dugout, and he's quickly behind in the count 0 2. Moniak chasing two breaking balls that probably weren't very much in the strike zone. He's behind the count now 0 2. The 0 2 pitch to Moniak. Another same breaking ball pitch. Three in a row. Stays alive with another foul ball. Moniak doesn't look like he's seeing the ball very well swinging at these pitches tonight. Looking to get a hold of one here in the gap. That one he lays off of. Split finger in the dirt. And it's one and two. The pitcher ready, the one-two pitch. Another breaking ball. Went back to the breaking ball in that one. Got him to chase again, but he still stays alive by fouling off behind the plate. One and two. Moniak battling up there. Trying to stay alive. Trying to get that first hit of the season. (laughs) 
Bowman shakes his head a couple times. Now comes set. The pen two pitch. Fastball upstairs. Taken. Two and two. Zach Nettle waiting on deck for his shot. They're driving a run here in the bottom of the fourth. The 2-2 pitch. Went back to the breaking ball on the outside corner this time. And another soft foul to the first base dugout. Oniak looking for that fastball but keeps staying alive to the breaking ball. Women come set. The 2-2. Another breaking ball that was inside. Could have been ball 6, 7, 8, 9 by now, but he fouls it off again to stay alive. Still the count, 2-2. Two and two. Deuces are wild. Two on, two out. Two balls, two strikes. We try again. The 2-2. Two, two. That one's a hanging breaking ball, but ahead of it fouls it off his foot. Still staying alive, battling. Yeah, B. Seth, I mean, when he's so he can't hit the breaking ball, he stay with it. He's clearly looking for the fastball, so it would not be smart for this pitcher to throw a fastball. Because if he throws a fastball and he's looking for it, Moniak's going to hit that one a long ways. Pitcher comes set one more time. The 2-2 pitch. A breaking ball. F grounded down the right side. The diving second baseman stops it. Gets up and throws him out at first to end the inning. Halos leave two stranded. We head to the top of the fifth. one nothing Boston still here on the Sportsman Baseball Network. Angels need at least a hit there. Maybe not a home run, but the Halos definitely could have used a hit. Ready now for the top of the fifth here with Detmers back on the mound. Rafaela leading off for the Boston Red Sox. Red Sox center fielder. Detmers is ready now for the first pitch. Takes a curveball in there for a strike. 0 and 1. Detmers has nine strikeouts tonight. Career high is 12. The 0 1 pitch. That's a changeup. Swung through and missed. 0 and 2. I like the way Demers is working now. He's working quick, keeping the ball in the zone, throwing strikes. Demers at 69 pitches, giggity. Demers is set and ready for the 0 2. Fastball high and away, fouled, back and out of play. Remains 0 2.
Denver only had 70 pitches here through four innings to the top of the fifth here. Looking to get through at least six innings today. Overthrows that one, and that's a splitter in the dirt for a ball. Two and two. Right now, two and two, one and two. There's a changeup. Strikeout number 10 for Reed Detmers. Swing and miss on that changeup on the outside corner. And there's one away. That'll bring up Connor Wong, the Red Sox catcher now here in the top of the fifth with one away. Detmer is really mixing speeds and locations well here tonight. In my opinion, Detmer should have been the opening day starter. There's a changeup, misses away for a ball, one and oh. The 1 0 pitch. It's a fastball upstairs. Checks his swing. Didn't go, and it's ball two. Demers is ready. The 2 0 pitch. Fastball taken up and in, and he's behind 3 0. Demers needing a. Bounce back pitch here. Don't want to walk another Boston hitter. And that just catches the top of the zone for a strike. Three and one. Don't want to walk the number eight batter here and get close to facing the top of the lineup again with runners on. Which will be his third time through the lineup. A 3-1 pitch. Got him to chase a fastball upstairs. Now evens the count full three and two. Count is full three and two. Demmer is ready. He has the pitch from the catcher. The three two pitch. Change up outside corner. Flared deep to left field. But Ward is under there nicely and makes the catch for out number two. First pitch to the next number nine batter now for the Red Sox is inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Demers ready, the 1-0 oh pitch. Up and in, almost got him, and it's 2-0. Oh. Detmers needing a quick out here to get a chance to make sure he comes back out for the sixth inning. Only had 80 pitches here through five. Four and two thirds. Next pitch, breaking ball on the outside corner. That's taken for a strike. Two and one. Nasty ball sick hook there. Two one pitch, another breaking ball. It almost gets the batter again. Three and one. Detmer's feeling some fatigue here, it looks like, in this inning. If he can get out of this inning quick without allowing another runner. There's a good chance he still goes for inning number six. Fastball skied high and deep to center. Trout jogging back, though. He's under it and makes the catch on the track. That'll end the top of the fifth here as we head to the bottom six. Halos are coming back up when we return.
Good shot, Detmers returns for the sixth inning here as he keeps cruising along, showing a little bit of fatigue on that one. Hopefully we can get one more inning at Detmers before having to go to the bullpen. If you guys are enjoying tonight's broadcast, please make sure you guys also do not forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help promote the team's channel. Zach Nitto, first pitch from Whitlock is a ball down low, 1-0. and oh. Zach Nitto looking to set the table here in the bottom of the fifth. Chases a slider outside, fouls it away. Really a sucker for that slider pitch tonight is Zach Nitto, 1-1. One one. That pitch is hammered through the left side into left field for a base hit. And Nato leads off the inning with a single here. That'll bring up Anthony Rendon. Anthony Rendon, one for two tonight with a single. First pitch, fastball, and Rendon's fouled off. 0-1-1. One, one. Nendo takes his lead at first. The pitch to Rendon. That's a breaking ball in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher, and it's 1-1. One one. One one pitch to Rendon, taken outside, but called a strike. Rendon not happy with that one, and rightfully so, because that was not a strike. Buddy, it's one and two. Pickoff play over at first, but Nato dives back in safely. Whitlock's at 90 pitches tonight. Probably his last inning here if he doesn't get into trouble. 1 2 pitch to Rendon now. Another breaking ball. That one called a ball this time. 2 and 2. Boston does have a man warming up in the bullpen. Bottom of the fifth here. One on. Nobody out. The 2 2 pitch to Rendon. That's a. Hanging breaking ball fouled away again. Staying alive, two and two. That was a breaking ball that was asking to be crushed. The Rendon is late and fouls it off. Two balls, two strikes again. Neto takes off for second. That's a high chopper down the line, though. Foul at third, just foul. Neto trying to get things moving there and try and steal second.
The dome set, so is the pitcher. We're ready for the 2 2 again. That's a hanging breaking ball slashed into right center field, but the center fielder runs over, makes the catch. And that's out number one. Rendon put a good swing on that one, but hangs up for the center fielder, and there's one away. That'll bring up Nolan Shamanal, the Angels' first baseman here with one on and one out. Red Sox out for a mound meeting here, just buying some time for the reliever to get warm in the bullpen. This is most likely Whitlock's last batter. Don't think he's going to have him face Trout for a third time tonight. So most likely Whitlock's last batter here. No matter what happens. Next pick to Shamanal coming up here. And that's a fastball taken high and away. 1-0. Nolan looking to get on base for Mike Trout, who's on deck. 1-0 pitch. Nato's running, stealing second, and he's... Oh, he's called out. I don't know. That looked like he might have made it in there. The pitch at the plate was a ball. Angels are going to challenge it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's safe at second. And was definitely in there before the tag. Another missed call by the second base umpire. He's 0 for 2 tonight on steals. Angels are likely to win this challenge and keep their challenge. Replays clearly showing he's in there easily at second. Umpires make the call. The field is overturned. And Neto's at second now. One out and two and oh on the batter. Looking for an RBI single here. Takes the next pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Two and one. Lays off the breaking ball down and in. Not the pitcher looking for two and oh. Willock's ready. The two one pitch. That's a backdoor breaking ball. Just catches the outside corner. Ump calls it a strike. Two and two. Some real spotty umpiring here tonight between the field crew and the home plate umpire. Strike zone's kind of been all over the place. So been the calls in the field. Nato takes his lead. The 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball down. And Shonowell takes full count now. Three and two. Coming down to Whitlock's last pitch here at 99. Most likely pitching change coming next here with Mike Trout on deck. A 3-2. Fouled. Barely got a piece of it. And the catcher could not hang on. And Shamanel will take and stay alive. 3-2. Just barely got a piece. We'll do the full count pitch again. That miss is down low. Ball four. Runners on first and second now, and that's going to bring up Mike Drought. And the Boston Red Sox pitcher, Boston Red Sox manager, is on his way out to make a pitching change. That's going to do it for Whitlock here through four and a third. We have a pitching change coming up. We'll be back momentarily. Trout's due up next.
Greg Weisert will be on the mound now for the Boston Red Sox as we return here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Mike Trout is going to be coming up with runners on first and second and only one away. Mike Trout looking to even up the score here. Pitcher's ready now for Mike Trout. The first pitch on Trout. The slider misses away. Good eye by Trout. 1-0. The 1-0 to Trout. Trout hammers one to deep left field. Racing in the left fielder, dives and makes a catch. What a catch by the Boston Red Sox left fielder. Saves a run. Maybe two. And there's two away now. Dives makes the catch, keeps the runners at first and second now with two outs and Taylor Ward coming up. What a play by the left fielder. Wow. What a play. Two on, two out now for Taylor Ward. Looking to get a run back on the board. That's a slider on the inside corner taken for a strike, 0-1. That pitch to Trout was his pitch, and he just missed it. Okay, the Ward's 0 for 1 to walk back in the fourth. The 0 1 pitch. It's a fastball inside corner, fights off to right field, but that's going to hang up for the right fielder. And he makes the catch for the out. We head to the top of the sixth now. It's still 1 0 Boston. Halos leave a couple more on board. And. When we return, Boston's up. Duran leads off the inning for the Red Sox here. Top of the order. Detmers is ready for the first pitch. Got him swinging on a fastball up and in. 0-1. Now Duran's 1-2 for two with a single in the third. And an RBI. Another fastball inside corner. Up and in. Fouled away. 0-2.
Angels have a uh, person up in the bullpen here warming up. This will be definitely Detmer's last inning. He's at 85 pitches here. Looking to get a quick 1-2-3 here in the sixth. The 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Another strikeout for Detmers. I think that's 11 strikeouts for Detmers, if I'm not mistaken. One away from his career high of 12. Detmers really had the Red Sox hitters off balance all night. Demers is ready for the next pitch. It's a ball, 1-0. Oh. Fastball swung through and missed, 1-1. One oh one. Demers set and ready, the 1-1. One, one. Made him look stupid on that one. Swung through and missed on a splitter. 1-2. and two. Hitter swung out of shoes way early on that one. He had Reyes fooled on that pitch. Let's see what he goes with next. After he's fooled reaching on that one, I'd go fastball up and in here. Let's we'll see what Detmers does. 1-2 pitch. Another splitter down and away, barely able to fight that one off. He wasn't ready for that one either. Still one and two. Detmer's ready for the one two. Went fastball up and in that time, but he takes it. It's too high for a ball, two and two. The 2-2 from Detmers. Breaking ball catches the inside corner. Strike three. Tying his career high in strikeouts there without number two is Detmers. With 12 Ks on the night. Detmers dealing. Angels, let's get him some run support. Next batter is in here for the Red Sox. As Devers looks at a strike, Cohen one. It's a hanging curveball sky to center field, but right at Mike Trout. And he's got it for out number three. Six strong innings from Detmers. One run on 12 strikeouts and three hits. That's going to end his night. We'll see a pitching change most likely in the seventh as we return. The Halos are coming up next.
Aaron Hicks now the plate takes a first pitch ball low 1 and 0. Aaron Hicks is 0-2 for the night, looking to snap that streak and get on base to lead off the inning here for the Halos. one -oh. That's a two-seamer on the outside corner, taken for a strike. 1-1. One -one. It would have been a good pitch to go the other way with, but... He'll take it for a strike. A 1-1 one, one pitch. That's a slider that he fouls. Just barely gets a piece of it as he's way out in front of that one. One and two. Hicks looking for the fastball. Got the slider. One two pitch fastball barely missed inside. That could have went either way, but Hicks gets the call. It's two and two. Why is it ready? The two two pitch to Hicks. It's a fastball outside, fouls it away, just gets a piece of it to stay alive. Two and two still. The pitch was outside, but too close to take. Pitcher set will do the 2 2 again. Another fastball just fouled away. That one looked like it hurt. That stung the hands a little. Got that on the end of the bat there. Big staying alive, 2 and 2. Checks his swing as he gets out of the way of that one. Almost hits him in the leg, and it's full count now, three and two. Major set the three-two pitch. Got him chasing a breaking ball down and in, and that's out number one. Made Hicks look silly on that swing there. Looking for a fastball. And then got him another breaking ball. That's going to bring up Logan O'Hoppy, who had a grand slam last night. Looking to do some damage again tonight. That's a sinker. Called a strike on the outside corner. 0-1. Looked a little low, but umpire's been calling that a strike. It's a two-seamer fouled off on the inside part of the plate. Oh, hoppy down quick here, 0-2. Oh, That's a pitch just taken as a ball outside. Could have been called strike three, but it's one and two. That pitch too close to take. Got to take that outside pitch and hit it the other way. A one-two to a hoppy. Breaking ball misses low. Catcher tried to frame it, doesn't get the call. Two and two. A hoppy leading the Angels in batting average and OPS. And 455 with a home run and six RBIs. That's a breaking ball fouled off to the third base side. Count remains two and two. Chases a fastball upstairs, but just gets a piece of it to foul it straight back. Still two and two. Hoppy looking for a pitch in the zone to drive. Angels need some late inning magic to get back into this one. Still trailing one nothing here, bottom of the sixth. The two two again. It's a slider inside, and he pulls his hands and pulls that 
halfway foul. Staying alive again. Chases a breaking ball inside. Would have been a ball. The 10th pitch of the bat here. The 2-2. Another fastball straight up by that sky in the infield. Shortstop's back. Third baseman's back. Makes the catch. We're out number two. That's a high infield fly out for a hoppy. And that's going to bring up Luis Ranjifo. It's a ground ball down the right field side. Second baseman dives. Tries to make the throw to first, but throws it away. The catcher backing up, though, saves the ball from going to the dugout and the runner advancing. But that's going to be a base hit to first. Halo's get another runner on here with two outs now in the bottom of the sixth. That's going to bring up Mickey Moniak now. Still searching for his first of the season. With one on and two outs. Takes a ball outside. 1-0. Keep forgetting to turn the camera back on. I apologize. Pitcher set the 1-0 pitch for Moniak. That's a slider taken outside for a ball. 2-0. If Modi, I can reach base here on this one. Zach Neto waits on deck. A 2-0 pitch. That was a fastball right down the middle. It takes a healthy cut at that one, but swings and misses 2-1. Another fastball up and in taken for a strike. Another steal. Renhifo tries to make it a second. And the umpire says he's out. Angels are checking that one again to see if they're going to challenge it. It was a close bang-bang play at second. And the Halos are going to challenge this one as well. It was a called strike on the batter. Renhifo makes it just in a second before the tag. Replay does show him safe. Man, that second base umpire is horrible tonight. This is his third wrong call on a steal tonight. Let's get this umpire out of here. I don't know what game he's watching, but it ain't this one. Bang bang play there a second. Split second touch to the bag before the ball and the glove tags the runner. This one will be overturned, and the Angels will retain their challenge again. And there will be a runner on second with two outs. It's taking him so long on this replay, it's pretty obvious he's safe. But the umpire's still reviewing the replay out in New York. Umpire's made decision, ruling is overturned, and the runner is safe. The third overturned call at second base with replay tonight. That umpire needs some glasses. Looks like a base umpire knows he ain't having a good night when you get three calls overturned like that.
Pitcher gets ready now and comes set. We'll do the 2 2 pitch again. And Eva takes his lead at second. The pitch is lined down the right field side, but foul into the net. Moniac staying alive still. It's still 2 and 2. Runner in scoring position now. A base hit scores a run and ties the game. With Randy Hifo speed at second. Weisenstert set the 2 2 pitch. Another breaking ball. This one's fouled again to the first base dugout. Mickey Moniak still way ahead of these pitches. Looking for that fastball, but they keep giving him breaking balls. He's got to adjust, make an adjustment. Sit back on that breaking ball and take the fastball the other way. The 2 2 again. Breaking ball in the dirt taken this time, and it runs the count full three and two. No runner on first, so the runner on second will not be in motion on this. The 2 2. That's ball four. And that's going to put him on first and second now with two outs. And that's going to bring up Zach Neto. Angels shortstop now with an opportunity to drive in the tying run. But that's going to do it for the Boston Red Sox pitcher. Pitching change underway here in Anaheim. Neto's due up next when we return after the change. If you guys are just joining us now, it is the bottom of the six. We got two runners on two outs. Halos are still down one. Don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button and that subscribe button to the channel if you have not done so already. It's free to do so and really helps support the channel if you're enjoying tonight's play-by-play -play call stream. Isaiah Campbell is now on the mound for the Boston Red Sox. He'll face Zach Nato, the number nine hitter for the Halos tonight. Zach Nato looking to come in the clutch here in the bottom of six to get the Halos back on the board and tie the score 1-1. Campbell's for four games ascending with four innings and one earned run. He threw a hitless inning last night. Renhifo and Moniak take their leads. The first pitch to Nato. That's grounded softly shortstop in the hole. He's going to make the quick stop to second, but he's safe. He's rounding set third. Renhifo's cut. He gets back safely. Oh, my. Soft grounder to shortstop in the hole. He's too quick to get it to second. That runner's safe. Renhifo looked to turn the corner at home, but he heads back with the throw going home. And everyone's safe around. Red Sox are looking to see if they're going to challenge the out at second. But I think he was safe. Let's 
So it's ruled that he is safe. Bases are loaded now. And that's going to bring up a leadoff batter in Anthony Rendon. As he takes a first pitch ball in the dirt. Rendon, time to earn your paycheck, son. Rendon's one for three with his second hit of the season tonight. Time to earn that check. He looks at another pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. One and one. Splitter swung on and missed by Rendon. Bad. Down low in the dirt. And it's one and two. Next pitch, another splitter in the dirt. Rendon holds off on that one. Two and two. Deuce is wild. Angels threatening here big in the sixth. They got to get a runner in. They can't afford to not get at least one run home this inning. Bases are loaded. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. A pitch to Rendon. That's soft ground into third. And it's through on an error. He's going to wave home the second runner. Two runs are going to score, and the Halos take the lead. Two to one. A bad hop to the third baseman. Plays it wrong. Takes the long hop, and it's off his glove and into the infield. That's going to be an error. But the Halos now score two on the error by the Red Sox. And again, the Red Sox fielding woes are doing them in here tonight. You're taught as an infielder to charge those. Never play them on the long hop like that because they'll eat you up every time. And that's exactly what happened there. That's an error on the third baseman. And that's going to score two. That's going to bring up... No one showing out now. Or the Halos here with runners on the corner. Two out and the Halos now leading two to one. First pitch on him is outside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Next pitch to him, another one taken low for a ball. It's 2-0. and oh. Halo still threatening here to take a bigger lead. Halo's looking for those insurance runs. 2 0 pitch, that's way out and up, and that's ball 3 3 and 0. Oh. The ever dangerous Mike Trout awaits on deck if Nolan gets on base here. Let's see if Nolan has the green light. The 3 0 pitch. That's a fastball in the dirt, spiked in the dirt, and that's going to load the bases for Michael Nelson Trout, who looks to do some serious damage here. In the bottom of the sixth. Mike Trout takes a breaking ball low and in for a ball, and it's 1 and 0. Oh. Bases loaded, two outs. Mike Trout at the plate. 1 0 on Trout. The pitch. He's hammered it. Oh. Just got under that one. That one looked good off the bat, but it's a nice, easy out in left center field. Just got in on the hands of Trout just enough to keep that one in the park. But not before the Halos do damage and score two on the air by the Red Sox. It's 2-1 to one Halos as we head to the top of the seventh.
Kimber is now pitching for the Halos here tonight. First pitch to Neal is in there for a strike, 0-1. Next pitch is up and in for a ball, one and one. Next pitch is called a strike on the outside corner, one and two. It would appear. Yep. Okay. Breaking ball upstairs, taken two and two. Swing, bada bada bada, swing. <laughs> two two pitch. That's a sinker, just misses the outside. Runs the count full. That's line up the middle, but Zeto has got it up the middle. Toss those over to first. And that's out number one for the Halos. Give me some hot dogs and cracker jacks. We got the seventh inning stretch coming up next. First pitch is a ball, 1-0. Oh. Yoshida gets hit and drilled with that 1-0 oh pitch. And that's going to get a one-out base runner. One zero now on Casas. Takes a strike on a fastball in the outside corner. One zero one. One one pitch. Just misses the outside corner, and it's two and one. All three way outside, three and one. Three one pitch. That catches the inside corner. Three and two. Cross is trying to jump out of the way of that one. Why is Kimber standing like that? That's just his uh, his pitching stance. Every pitcher has their own unique kind of stance. 
3-2 pitch is fouled away. Stays alive. Yeah, the way he stands is not even the weirdest that some of these pitchers stand. <laughs> not even the weirdest. Embers ready again for the 3-2. Got him swinging on a fastball outside corner out number two. Nice two-seam fastball there on the outside corner. It gets him. And it's two away with one out. Or two away with one on here in the top of the seventh for the Red Sox. Amber looking to get out of this inning unscathed. We have a pinch hitter for the Red Sox as well. Abreu is going to be the next batter here. Well, your Abreu will be the batter up now. Quick mound visit on the mound from the Halos. Probably just going over a quick scouting report of the uh, pinch hitter Abreu. They'll be pinch hitting for Rafaela. With two out and one on. Abreu batting 154 on the season. The first pitch. That misses way down on the low. Ball one. Red Sox looking for some pitch hit magic. Halo's looking to keep them at bay. Ember comes set, the 1-0. That's a rising breaking ball in there. Swung through and missed, and it's 1-1. One one. Ember's ready, the 1-1. As the slider misses outside, ball two, two, one. Sticking with a the theme, looks like he's trying to keep the breaking ball away on this batter. And two, one pitch. That's a sinker drive to center field, but Trout's jogging under it. And he makes the catch to end the inning. Red Sox get one on, but they can't score. Halos hold the score two to one. Halos. Bottom of the seventh, seventh inning stretch. We'll return Halos up next on the Sportsman Media Network. buying the beer how do they throw like 90 miles per hour you got pitchers that throw over 100 miles an hour visa but 990 would be like the league average the league average is probably like 92 93 um but yeah you got pitchers that throw 100 101 102 all up to 103 
Pitcher's got a new pitcher on the mound in Slanton. First pitch from Slanton to Ward is a fastball foul to the right side, 0-1. Breaks his bat here, getting a new bat. Next pitch is a ball taken away on a one. Two and two now on Ward. Nobody on. That's a breaking ball in the dirt. Not even close. Full count now. Taylor Ward strikes out, swinging on that one, and it's going to be one away. First pitch on Hicks is in there for a strike, 0-1. Sorry. There's a lot of a lot of player changes on that move, so I had to figure out the camera. Aaron Hicks swinging out of his shoes on that one, and it's one and two. Aaron Hicks is 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout tonight. Looking to snap the 0 for streak here. You got a lead off for the Halos. Texas swing fastball outside, and it's a ball, 2 and 2. Hicks takes a pitch on the outside, just misses for a ball. Could have been called a strike, and it's full count, three and two. That pitch is too close to take with two strikes. you got to be swinging at that. Don't let the umpire make that call for you. Instead of swinging at the fastball, he swings at the cutter inside, and away would have been ball four. Instead, it's out number two. Does that make a lot of sense? Take the fastball down the cock and swing at the breaking ball at your knee. Oh, Hoppy takes a fastball right down the middle in there for strike one. Oh, and one.
The 0 1 pitch to Hoppy. It's a breaking ball. Swung on and fouled off. 0 and 2. That was way down in the zone, but fooled Logan. And he swings at it. Behind in the count, 0 and 2 with two outs. Slayton looking for a 1 2 3 inning. Logan looking to extend it. The 1 2 swung. Got him to chase at a slider in the dirt. And that's three outs to end the inning. We head to the top of the eighth. It's still 2-1 Halos. Boston coming up when we return here on the Sportsman Media Network. Got a nail biter here through seven. Angels up by a slim lead of two to one. Looking to get back at the Red Sox after last night's loss. Can the Angels bullpen hold on? Or will they be known as the blowpen? Matt Moore will be pitching on the mound now for the Halos here in the top of the seventh. Colton Wong will be leading off for the Boston Red Sox, their catcher. Matt Moore last year in 50 games had a 2.56 ERA between the Angels, Cleveland, and Miami. On the opponent's uh, 231 average. He's got two hitless innings in two games this season. First pitch from Matt Moore. It's a breaking ball swung through and missed. Strike one. One pitch, breaking ball down and in for ball one, one and one. <laughs> one, one pitch, fastball outside corner, that's fouled straight back, and he's ahead of the count now, one and two. One two pitch. That's breaking ball way in the dirt. Good block by Ohapi. But it's two and two. More ready with the two two pitch. That's a hanging breaking ball swung high and deep to left field, but Ward is camped under it, and Ward makes the catch. Route number one. Mm -hmm. 
Manuel Valdez steps in now, the number nine batter for the Red Sox with nobody on and one out. Lefty versus lefty here. First pitch is a fastball fouled away, 0-1. Valdez is over two with a ground out and a fly out tonight. Matt Moore looking to keep him hitless. Breaking ball just misses the top of the zone and it's one on one. Or gets the signal he's ready in the one one pitch. Breaking ball in the dirt again and it's two and one. Moore is ready now, the 2-1. It's a high fastball flared into left center field. Trout's calling for it. He's under it and makes the couch for out number two. And that's going to bring up the leadoff batter here in the top of the eighth for the Austin Red Sox. First pitch fastball is in there on the corner. Called strike 0-1. Good oh, dang it. I keep forgetting the camera. <laughs> I should just leave the camera on. All in the dirt tries to check his swing, but third base umpire says he went around 0-2. Duran doesn't like it, says he don't think he went around, but oh, he did. That bat definitely crossed the plate. The 0 2 pitch, breaking ball just misses outside. One and two. Good eye on the batter on that one. That was a tough pitch to lay off. Oh, down 0 2 like that. Moore is ready now for the 1 2. That's a fastball left up in the field. Trout's racing back to center field to get it. He's up and leaps at the wall, and makes the catch. What a play by Mike Trout. Robs him of a double. And just like that, the Halos are out of the inning here in the eighth. What a play by Mike Trout jumping into the wall to make that catch. And the Halos are still up 2-1 to one here as we head to the bottom of the eighth. Halos coming up next.
What a play by Mike Trout to end that last inning. As the Halos come up now, Stanton still on the mound, and Renhifo's in, takes a first pitch, ball 1-0. One zero pitcher in Hefo. That's a fastball outside corner, lined straight back behind the plate. And Hefo just missed that one. It's one to one. It's one and two on Renhifo. Slanton is ready. And the pitch. Got Renhifo chasing at one in the dirt there, and he's away for the first out. That'll bring up Mickey Moniak. Still looking for his first hit of the season. He's got a run scored, though. And two walks tonight. First pitch on Mickey Moniak. That's hammered to center field, but right at the center fielder. He'll take it easy for the second out. One pitch, one out, and there's two gone here in the bottom of the eighth. Carlos Estevez is warming up in the Angels' bullpen and will likely pitch the ninth inning to close it out. That's going to bring up Zach Neto here in two outs. Nobody on. Breaking ball misses down low for a ball, 1-0. Zach Neto looking to get some insurance runs here for the Halos in the bottom of the eighth. He's two for three with two singles and a stolen base. 1-0 pitch, that's a grounder to third, just foul. And it's going to be 1-1. One Look like Neto broke his bat on that one. He'll get a new stick. Waiting on deck for potentially another shot is Anthony the Bum Rendon. One one. That's a breaking ball swung through and missed, and it's one and two. Slanton looking to get this inning into the Sox and one more chance at it. Um, between, and you could typically between two and a half to three hours ish. So, I mean, this game's close to being over and we're about two and a half hours in. A one two pitch, that's fastball down. Easily taken for a ball. It's two and two. Slant muscle in that fastball, trying to gas up for it, and blow it by him, and ends up sticking it almost in the dirt. Pitcher set, and he's ready for the two two. Breaking ball in the dirt, bounces at the home plate, and it's ball three. We'll count two outs. Nobody on here for Zach Neto. He's trying to get on base any way he can to extend this inning for the Halos. Halos looking to get at least one insurance run here to help Estevez end the ninth. A 3-2. Ooh, looked like it might have been down, but the umpire calls it. Strike three. Zach Neto goes down looking. And just like that, we head to the top of the ninth. The Halos look to close it out. Estevez coming on the mound for the Halos when we return.
You trying to jinx it, V-Seth? <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. turn here to the top of the ninth halos three outs away from victory if carlos estevez can hold on to the save 63 games last year had a 3.9 era 31 saves out of 35 attempts and he's had two saves in two games this year two innings one hit no runs allowed McGuire pinch hitting for Reyes here tonight. First pitch is down and in for a ball. One oh pitch. That's a breaking ball in there taken for a strike one and one. Estevez is ready now for the 1-1. One, one. McGuire swings through that 96 mile an hour fastball up in the zone for strike two, one and two. McGuire swinging out of his shoes on that one, trying to swing for the fences. His eyes lit up with that fastball. The one, two now to McGuire. That's a fastball again, 96, but this time he got a piece of it. Stays alive, one and two. A one two pitch again. Uh, it's a splitter in the dirt. Hoppy keeps it in front, but the batter takes it for a ball, two and two. The two two. Fastball taken, called strike three on the inside corner, paints the black. And there's one down here in the ninth. It's going to bring up Rafael Denvers. First pitch to him. Breaking ball just misses outside. 1-0. Next pitch, fastball misses way outside, and it's 2-0. and oh. You definitely don't want to walk him. You got to make him earn his way on base here tonight. Walks will kill you. And we're at the heart of the Red Sox order. Swing and miss on a 97-mile-hour fastball up in the zone. 2-1. and one. Devers is 1-3 for three with a single back in the fourth. Two one, fastball ball apparently. 
That should have been a strike on the outside corner, but it's called the ball three and one. This umpire crew has been all over the place with calls tonight. Important pitch coming up three and one. That's a fastball flied back and out of play. We'll count now three and two to the Red Sox's number three hitter. O'Neill is on deck. Devers representing the tying run. O'Neill would be the go ahead if Devers can get on. A 3 2 pitch. It's a fastball swung on and fouled to left field. Ward is racing over to it and makes the catch along the line there for out number two. That's a good pitch by Estevez there. O'Neill stepping into the plate now. Swing and a miss to O'Neill. It's 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch to O'Neill. That's taken breaking ball in there for a strike. 0 and 2. Halos down to their last strike. I should say Red Sox down to their last strike here at Angel Stadium. The 0 2. High pop up down the left field line. Rendon is under it. Drifting towards the dugout and makes the catch. And the Halos close it out here in a nail biter, two to one. Rendon making the last out of the game in foul territory. Reed Detmer is getting the win, and the Halos finishing the night three or two and one. Just like that, the Halos are victorious here tonight, 2-1. to one. Total line score, Halos 2 with 6 hits, no errors, and 10 men left on base. Red Sox, 1 run, 3 hits on 1 error, and 3 men left on base. A 1 run, a lone run given up by Detmers back in the game. Detmers, player of the game here today, going 2-0 on the season. ERA going to 1.64 on the season. YZ is the loss pitcher tonight. Gave up an unearned run. Estevez with the save. Estevez with three scoreless innings on the season now. The Halos are victorious. Tomorrow the Halos continue taking on the Red Sox over at Angel Stadium. Around 1 p.m. I believe. So, great game, Mr. Davis. What's going on, Davis? We'll do the post-game wrap up here in just a moment. So, uh, Angels live tomorrow at 1.07 p.m. Taking on Red Sox one more time. Seal Seth takes the mound against Huck for the Red Sox, and then they begin a three-game series with Tampa Bay. Thank you guys for joining us here tonight on Sportsman Media Network as we uh, root on our Halos to victory here tonight, and the Halos begin a next win streak. They improved to 5-3 and three on the season here tonight now. Halos looking to keep up with the Texas Rangers in the West. Rangers with the win tonight against the Houston Astros. Halos still remain within a half a game of first place. Let's do the scoring wrap up real quick around the league too before we call it quits. A's over the Tigers 4 to nothing, Guardians 3 to 1 over the Twins, Marlins lose 3 to 1, Dodgers 4 to 1 over the Cubs. The Orioles lose 5 to 1 over the 5 to 4 over the Pirates, Phillies 5 to 2 over the Nationals. 
The Reds 9-6 over the Mets. The Rangers 7-2 killing over the Astros. The Yankees win a close one. They were up big against the Blue Jays, but went by one run 9-8. Royals 3-0 over the White Sox. Mariners 5-3 over the Brewers. D-backs lose a close one to the Braves. The Rays 8-6 over the Rockies. Padres over the Giants 4-0. And your Halos up 2-1 to one over the Boston Red Sox. Absolutely incredible. Incredible uh, game here tonight. It was a great one. I appreciate, again, all of you guys that uh, decided to hang out with us here on Sportsman Media Network. We will be doing uh, live play-by-play. -play. should be next Saturday again. Here on the channel, we look to do every Saturday game as much as possible here on Sports and Media. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button if you have not done so already, to stay tuned and updates for our next game. But we will be live here again next weekend. Till then, guys, take care. Go Halos. Boo, Boston. Sir.